Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 768 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian Minister of Digital Transformation Mikhailo Fedorov said that in 2024, Kyiv managed to increase the production of long-range unmanned aerial vehicles tenfold compared to last year, reports Gromadske. In an interview with German media Die Welt, Fedorov added that most of the drones that attack the Russian oil refineries have a range of 700 to 1,000 kilometers, but now there are models that can fly over 1,000. The minister predicts that the first prototypes of artificial intelligence drones in small numbers could appear on the battlefield by the end of 2024. However, Fedorov said that it is currently impossible to say who was winning the technological war, as, quote-unquote, in some areas we are winning, in others the Russians are surpassing us. Ukrainian air defense forces destroyed a Russian attack and reconnaissance drone for post over the Black Sea, reports NV. It is considered to be the Russian variant of the Turkish Bayraktar unmanned aerial vehicle and costs about 7 million US dollars. Ilya Yevlash, the spokesperson for the Air Force of Ukraine, said that Forpost could conduct reconnaissance and carry an additional combat load in the form of two missiles or other weapons to hit ground targets. According to Forbes Ukraine, Russian forces launched what may have been one of the largest tank attacks on Ukrainian positions since the start of the invasion. On Saturday, 30 March, Russian forces tried to advance on the Avdiivka front, but had lost a third of their tanks without making progress. Ukrainian military sources noted that in the weeks leading up to Saturday's assault, the Russians had been using infantry to advance west of the town. The reason was that they lacked vehicles after suffering heavy losses during the assault on Avdiivka in mid-February. The situation has changed in recent days. Russian troops again used armored vehicles, including tanks. As many as 36 tanks and 12 infantry fighting vehicles from Russia's 6th Tank Regiment, which is part of the 90th Tank Division, launched an attack along the road leading from Russian-occupied Tonenke to the Ukrainian-controlled village of Umanske, two miles to the west. Ukraine's 25th Brigade spotted the convoy and delivered a robust response, hitting 12 tanks and 8 infantry fighting vehicles. The next day after the assault, Ukraine's Center for Defense Strategies described the fighting around Tonenke as positional, meaning that neither side had made significant progress. Forbes Ukraine suggests that despite problems with the supply of essential ammunition, Ukrainian brigades are still able to mount a fierce defense using landmines, artillery, anti-tank missiles and attack drones. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. First Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Economy Yulia Sverdenko informed that in March Ukraine exported 11.8 million tons of cargo, which in monetary terms is 3.2 billion US dollars, reports Ekonomichna Pravda. According to her in January, Ukraine reached record levels since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, 12 million tons per month, of which the absolute majority went by sea. The minister added that last year, according to operational data of the state statistics service, GDP grew by 5.3%. The growth of GDP was due to the stability of Ukrainian business, as 90% of enterprises that have stopped working since the beginning of the full-scale Russian invasion are working again. In addition, Ukraine has received over 75.4 billion US dollars in direct budget support from partners since February 2022. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, where a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.